Our story so far. After witnessing Ramon's abduction before their very eyes, Luke and Professor Layton are shocked to see him return to Reinhold Manor on his own. All right, so we got to meet uh, Chelmley. Chelm. Tell me. Tell me back at the uh, manor. That'd be a simple feat. Let's head this way. And then we head that way. And then we head this way. See, I remember where the manor is. That's a pretty simple one to, to establish. Let's head into the manor. He should be upstairs, I'm going to assume. Are you trying to poison me? What are these vile things? You oaf! Some butler you are! I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I detest sweets! The very sight of them turns my stomach! Get that plate out of here at once! Chelmy is not a very positive person to be around. Oh, yes, but of course. Hmm? Ah, Leighton, there you are! You requested our presence, Inspector Chelmy. My sources tell me you've been out swooping about and interfering in my case. Just what are you up to? It certainly wasn't my intention to interfere in your case. However, a few things don't make sense. Leave the investigating to the police and go chase after that golden apple or whatever it is. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'll find Simon's killer. Of that you can be sure. Hmm. Now, unless you have something else to say, I've got work to do here. Understood. Good day, sir. That inspector has some nerve dismissing us like that. Like I said before, I don't like him one bit. Hmm. What do you say we go ask Ramon about yesterday, Luke? Alright, so let's check in on Ramon. I'm going to assume he's not upstairs, but I'm not sure we're supposed to leave. Oh, they're all here. Let's talk to uh, Claudia. Not Claudia. Yeah, Dahlia. There we go. Oh, Professor, how fortunate that you are here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask of you. Please, madam, ask away. I'm happy to come to your aid in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Could you solve this puzzle for me? Don't start. This game can't start this early. It can't. It can't. Though I'm not feeling up to it, the challenge, it won't solve itself. Puzzle number 63. How old is mom? All right. We're already doing the trick math puzzles. Here we go. This one's 20 Picarots. I feel like we always start with a 20 whenever we come back. Here we go. All right. A father and son are having a conversation. And the father turns to the son and says, You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year, I was only one and a half times her age. But still, that's pretty amazing, eh? If the father is 44 years old, how old is the mother? So, what he's saying is, at one point, his age was twice the age of the mother. But then the very next year, let me get my note cards all ready. I still haven't gone to get the notebook. I promise by the time <laughs> we start the next Leighton game, I will have a, a dedicated notebook. Okay. So, let's see. Let's take a look. We have, I'm going to use F and M. To, uh, to note the father's age and the mother's age. So let's see. We have F. At one point, the father was twice the age of the mother. So that means F equals 2M. F equals 2M. F equals 2M. That very next year, though, he was only one and a half times her age. So if F is if F is the father's age on that first year, then the very next year would be F plus one. F plus one equals one and a half times her age. F plus M. I'm sorry, F plus one equals M plus one in parentheses times 
1.5. Because we have to note that a year has passed. We have to note that a year has passed. I think that's part of the trick for this one. F plus 1 equals... M plus one. Yeah, I'm just I'm just checking myself because I I am known to make a fool of myself with these puzzles. M plus one times one and a half. If the father is 44 years old, how old is the mother? I'm not sure how to note that one to be honest. Like if if they're saying he's 44 now, if he, if they're saying he's 44 now, or if that 44 is just like a barrier, so that it limits. Like possible ages. Mm -hmm. Let me try this. I'm going to try and take F equals 2M. Take the 2M and plug that into the F of the first puzzle. I'm, I'm sorry, the second equation. I, I'm not sure if that works. I'm not sure if that works. Let me try it out. So if I plug that in, we have 2M plus 1 equals M plus 1 times 1.5 if I multiply that across then I have 1.5 m plus 1.5 no something is wrong here oh no wait, not exactly not exactly because I have a 2 on the other side I can I can divide out or multiply out 1 to 2 m m 1.5 okay so I have 2 m plus 1 on the left side and 1.5 m plus 1.5 on the other side Let's get the let's get the M's on one side and the whole numbers on the other. So I have if I take away 1.5 from both sides, then I have 1.5 M from both sides. Then I have 0.5 M. And if I put the plus one, if I put that plus one on both sides by subtracting it, let's see. Let's see. I think I goofed. I think I goofed already. 0.5 M. Let's see. Okay, so I take away the 1. 0.5 M equals 0.5. M is 1? What? The mother's age is 1? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. M would be one. M would be one. And then the father is two. That's for the very first year that they're talking about. M would be one. The mother would be one year old. And the father would be twice her age. Two years old. The next year, the mother would be two. And the father would be three. He'd be one and a half times her age. Now, what it's saying, I get the I get the second part now. I get the uh, I get this part. If the father's forty four years old, how old is the mother? Forty three. It's not saying that's how old he is in the first situation. It's saying that's how old he is as he's having this conversation with his son. So if the father's forty four, then the mother's forty three. She is one year younger than him. It's forty three. I'm 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 rolling with that. I'm rolling with forty three. There we go. Dope. <laughs> Critical thinking is the key to success. Shut up, Layton. You'll get to talk. I did this one. <laughs> I did this one. The mother's 43. When the boy's father was two years old, his mother was one. The next year, she he turned three and she turned two. When you realize this is only the only combinations. Yeah. The only combinations that work that quickly with one year difference. There we go. Damn. What a relief. I can finally stop thinking about that silly puzzle. You have my thanks. Uh, the splendid painting definitely goes in Leighton's room. Definitely goes in Leighton's room. How old is mom? All right, let's go find Ramon. Let us go and find Ramon. All right, get out of here. We got to figure out where Ramon is, though. Here's the cat. Well, if it isn't Claudia, I don't about. Claudia's the cat, not the woman. Give it a try, my boy. Oh, it's a puzzle. 
Oh, it's a puzzle. The cat doesn't get the opportunity to say, would you help me solve this puzzle? We just solve it. Number 60 is weighing cats. It's worth 30 picarettes. There are 30 different colors of plush cats before you. The color of a cat denotes its weight. Examples 1 and 2 show their relative weights. So, 4. Oh, this is a, this one should be more fun than that other weight puzzle where I took forever to figure it out. Uh, okay, so 4 white cats weighs the very same thing as 5 black cats. And then one white cat plus two black cats weighs the very same as three red cats. So we should be able to determine how much everything weighs off of just that one. Uh, you have three red cats and four black cats located on one side of the scale. On the other side of the scale, there are four white cats and one black cat. Given this setup, will the scale tip left? tip right or stay level all right so this is gonna be one of those puzzles where we don't get to we don't get forever to solve it if you mess up the first time you only get one more shot clearly okay so four white cats weighs the same thing as five black cats that means let's look at this vaguely before i actually uh do real math that means the white cats weigh more than the black cats if it only takes four white cats to make the same amount make the same weight as five white black cats that means the white cats weigh more than the black cats one white cat weighs more than one black cat that's what that means as for the red cats there's no way to truly determine if it weighs more than the white cats or less than the black cats not just not just looking at things vaguely we can figure it out though okay so if four white cats Weigh the same as five black cats. That means. That means one white cat. One white cat weighs a fourth more. That means, okay, you have the weight of the black cat. Let me see if I can put this in the chat so that so it can be noted. Four white cats weighs the same as five black cats. Four white cats weighs the same as five black cats. And then one white cat plus two black cats all together weigh the same thing as three red cats. All right. Now, if four white cats weigh the exact same as five black cats, that means that one white cat, whatever the weight that a black cat weighs, whatever weight a black cat weighs, a white cat weighs that as the, that much plus a fourth of another black cat. That's what that means. It weighs four. I'm sorry, five fifths of the weight of a black cat. There we go. I hope that I hope that makes sense. I'll write that out as well. What I did was I divided. Ooh, did I do that right? Yeah, I divided the four white cats by four, and I divided the five black cats by four, so I get W by itself. Here we go. Here we go. I hope this isn't too confusing. <laughs> okay. So what we can do now is take that, plug that into the second example. We can plug that in down here. And then we can figure out the weight of... We can figure out the weight of the red cats relative to the black cats. That's what we can do. So if we take five fourths black and plug that in at the bottom. I'm sorry, the second example we get one five fourths of a black cat plus two black cats equals three red cats so then what we have if we convert 2b i'm sorry yeah 2b into a fraction an improper fraction then we have eight fourths so then we have 13 all together, we have 13 fourths of black cats equals three red cats. 13 fourths would be three and one fourth. So that means 
The red cats also weigh more than the black cats. Red cats weigh more than the black cats. If it's 13, 8 and 5, 13. Yes. It takes more black cats than it does red cats to reach the same weight. So that means the red cats weigh more. I hope I did that right. I hope I did that right. The red cats weigh more than the black cats, but we don't know for certain that they weigh more than the white cats. Is there a way we can find out? Yes, we can divide back the other way. We can find how many black cats... I'm sorry, we can find how many white cats it takes to make one black cat. And doing so shows us that it takes four-fifths of one whole white cat to make one black cat. And then, we, and then once again, we take that number, plug that into the second problem. So then we have one white cat plus uh, two times four-fifths black cat. Equals 3R. So then two, two, four fifths of a black cat would be eight fifths. Plus one, five and eight, 13. Once again, ooh, uh oh, I think I did something wrong. I think I did something wrong. Let me check. Because what I have is 13 out of five, 13 fifths of a black cat equals three red cats. It takes more red cats to reach the same weight as it does black cats. Then it does black cats. So that means black weighs more. That's not right. Something's not right. I did that wrong. I just put the wrong letters. Okay. Let me say that again. It takes more red cats than it does white cats to reach the same level. So that means white cats weigh more. Okay. So our very vague... Explanation on what weighs the most. White cats weigh the most, then red cats, then black cats. Looking at the other side, black cats weigh the least, then red cats, then white cats. Okay. So what's our problem? Our problem is, will the scale tip left, right, or stay level? Do we have to figure out exactly how much they weigh to, to do this one? I don't think so. Actually, I think we might. I think we might need to figure this one out. Figure out exactly what everything weighs. Do I have another spare note card? Yeah, this one's perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if I can make cleaner notes of this. We said that white cats weigh five-fourths of what a black cat weighs. Yeah, I think I need to boil these down at least to definite numbers. Not necessarily, oh, this weighs this many pounds, this many ounces, but I need to boil down something to definite numbers. So far we have five, let's see, W equals five-fourths B. W equals five-fourths B. We also have B equals, I mean, by nature, this is the, it's the exact same equation just flipped around b equals four fifths w by nature then what do we have then what do we have we need to get is if we have a way We can convert those black cats on the left side to white cats. We can do that. For every every black cat is really four-fifths of a white cat. Every black cat is really four-fifths of a white cat. So on the right side, on the right side, we have... Let's see, every black cat is four-fifths of a white cat. On the right side, we really have four and four-fifths. That's what that is. We can change that black cat into four-fifths of one white cat. So that right side is four and four-fifths. It probably have been easier just to convert the reds on the left side to some to white 
probably easier to look at. Whatever, we're here now. We're here now. We know that the right side equals four and four fifths. Four and four fifths ounces, four and four fifths pesos, four and four fifths feathers, whatever. The left side, we need four times four fifths so that we can convert each one into what they weigh in white cats. So four times four and four fifths, that's 16 fifths so far. So that's what, three and three and one fifth? And then we need to figure out, we need to convert the red. We can do that easy. We can convert the red easy. If we want to convert to, shoot, I did it for black. That just means we need to convert it to black and then convert that to red as well. All right. I'm sorry, not red. Convert it to black and then convert it to white. Okay, so we have three red. And we already did the math. We know that three red equals... Actually, I did the math for uh, I did the math for converted to white as well. Three red equals thirteen fifths white cats. So all we have to do is add that together because we have three reds on the left side. So thirteen fifths. We just add those two together. We get what twenty nine. Sixteen and thirteen is twenty nine over five. Now we need to convert that into a whole number or a mixed fraction so that we can see which side is heavier or if they're equal. Uh, if we add one more, it'd be 30 over five, which would be six. So this is five and four fifths on the left side. The left side equals five and four fifths pesos. The right side equals four and four fifths pesos. The left side will be heavier. The scale will tip to the left. Did I say right side? I meant left side. The scale will tip to the left. I think I've got it. Dope. Dope. Saves the day. <laughs> On a roll today. If you replace the white cats in re if red cats and white cats were black ones, this becomes much simpler. Once you make your replacement, you have six black cats. Did I, ooh, did I, did the, I did the math wrong still? I did it wrong slightly in my favor. Yeah, I was off by one on both sides. That's weird. Actually, I was off by one on the left side and two on the right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I goofed. But I, I figured it out. I did the math. I did all the math. The math were done by me.